just getting out of the library because my favorite spot closes a little earlier than the rest of it. But yeah, um, I just want to show you all this thing that I thought was so cute. Um, the coffee shop is named that the caffeine elephant element is it so cute. Um, I'm kind of a sucker for like little things like that. <laughs> so yeah, I am not headed straight home. I'm walking to the parking deck right now. I'm taking the outside route. I know it's strange for me, but I wanted to look outside instead of like looking at the walls of the tunnel. But I am headed to Target to try and get another strap for my camera because I realized that's what's been making that clicking noise in um, my videos. It's not like me, but it's the thing smacking against the camera as I walk. So I want to get a smaller strap. Um, I also want to look to get like one of those monopod things um, because that'll help with the shakiness because yeah, I whip y'all back and forth with this camera, so I think I'm having a monopod thingy would be helpful because it wouldn't look as shaky as this does now. So hopefully they can help me figure out something in like 20 minutes so I can get home and get to studying because I edited a vlog for y'all today. So I wasn't the most productive as I got caught up um, listening to music to put in the background of my video. But yeah, <sighs> should be a fun, for the Miss Manga, um, what is it, mascara, because I've heard good things about it and I've been watching it forever, so yeah, I figured why not get it now. Wait a second. Okay, so I found it, and there are three different types, and I can't find anything that I need, like they don't have any camera accessories whatsoever. I'm so confused. Good morning guys. I am up early. I'm trying to be a little quiet because my roommate's still sleeping. But um, I'm gonna get some breakfast ready, brew some tea, and then head out so I can sit in the lecture hall and look over some things before lecture starts. apartment and headed into the parking deck. You guys watch where I'm going for it. Bust my butt on this snow. But trying to get to my car to get to lecture. This morning we have I think two lectures. So we'll probably get out at like we have two lectures and then a case review. We'll get out at like eleven and I have LG today where we practice the physical exam. And then after that, then I'll study. So we have a break in between lectures. We're about to do a case review. So hopefully it goes well. Wait, are they wearing matching ties? I thought I wasn't trying to record, but now that we're recording, we got me and Faith oh, in the back. Yeah, now you're, you're caught now. <laughs> it's a selfie. We're talking about right in my face while I'm eating. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that was so awkward. <laughs> We're headed to go grab some lunch. Say hi, Shilpa. <laughs> this is my roommate. Hey. Um, yeah, he was working on my like, favorite computer and he was like, hey, there's videos of you. And I was like, oh my God. <laughs> I need to delete those. <laughs>
exams and did the cardiopulmonary physical exam. As well as we met with a standardized patient. So that was fun. Now I need to go catch up on studying today because when I have the LP or LG, I have long days because I have to study after five. So. Hey guys, so um, I just wanted to come and talk to you guys. I am home now. I decided to come home and study like I told you earlier. Um, I'm about to eat some spaghetti squash pasta that I made. I don't know if y'all can see that. Yeah, it's nothing too fancy, but um, yeah, I'm gonna eat that and continue to study. So I'm just gonna be sitting here studying, nothing too fancy, so I will. See you guys tomorrow morning. Hey guys, good morning. I am on my way to campus for a small group session. Um, but first we have a one hour lecture before that. So, headed to go do that now. And then afterwards, I'll probably study on campus. Um, and then from there, I will probably look for a different place to study. I don't know if I'll go back to Chinese or what, but. change what I'm doing and just you know take a mental break so not feeling too hot had a cry session because I was overwhelmed but it happens now I'm gonna go kind of try and recenter myself and then attempt to get back to studying so I can make this a productive three-day weekend so hey guys I am coming to talk to you guys while I unpack. I just got home and like I was telling you guys earlier today, it's kind of a rough day for me just because this re week was really rough and it was kind of the worst week that we've had so far. So, um, ugh, people are texting me. I didn't feel as prepared for this week as I would like to have been and the fact that this was kind of like a faster paced week and we got way more material than we've ever gotten before um it was just kind of hard for me to deal with um so i also have a bad habit of ignoring like self-care um so like i cut out s some sleep hours i s didn't make all my meals every day um no exercise and things like that, which just wasn't what I needed to be doing. It just made matters worse. And so I like made an appointment with like the academic advising office, which they have at pretty much every med school. Um, and they just kind of help you talk you through like time management and things that you can do to kill two birds with one stone. So I just talked with them on that. Then I had a little cry session by myself because I am a crier ever since I went to undergrad. I started like stress crying, so I'll just like randomly do that for five minutes and then I'm recentered. But I don't know, I need to find a balance with the material of this block. So yeah, it just goes to show you guys that not every day in medical schools, peachy keen. You do get some hard days and you do get some good days. You do get some hard weeks and you do get some good weeks. But fortunately, this week was not that great for me. But I did love reading your comments and hearing about you guys. 
um, because that definitely motivated me to like get my work done and just try as hard as I can to keep up with the material from this week. Luckily, I have a three-day weekend because of MLK Day on Monday, so I get an extra day to study. That's how you look at holidays now, <laughs> extra days to study. But yeah, um, I just wanted to come and like tell you guys that because I know I didn't get to vlog very much today because I was just overwhelmed and I didn't really have the mental capacity to like think about pulling out my camera. But when I did, I did kind of just tell you guys how I was feeling so you guys kind of understood why. But yeah, tonight I will be productive and um, tomorrow I will get some work done. Same thing on Sunday. And Venus PCO2 are very similar. They're only about five millimeters of mercury different. So in summary, carbon dioxide transforming blood has been like three mechanisms. Dissolved carbon dioxide, bicarbonate, and carbon amino compounds. Carbonic anhydrase catalyzes the conversion of carbon dioxide and water into carbonic acid, which then in turn converts into bicarbonate. Carbon amino compounds arise from carbon Hey y'all, sorry I kind of look crazy, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna go run and go do some grocery shopping real quick and then settle back down to study because we have a midterm coming up in about a week, so need to get all my P's and Q's in order. That's the saying, right? I could be missing that. <laughs> try and shop for at least two weeks to a month um, for things so usually I run out of some things before a month is over but I still have all the basics so like I bought two loaves of bread um, an extra English muffin pack even though I still have one in the fridge because I put one set in the freezer and then I put the other one in the fridge so I use it um, and then you can also meal prep. I do that with a lot of my fresh veggies. So like after a week, I just meal prep all the rest so they don't go bad after two weeks. So there's little ways that you can cut corners and cut time. Some people buy like packets of things, but I enjoy cooking. So I like to do as much as I can from scratch. It just all depends on the contact center. And at the time, I didn't really know what that meant. But standing here now, 13 years later, having seen firsthand all of the lives changed, I now realize what we got. A building.